welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing the 1K makeup tutorial challenge tag kind of thing. I've been seeing it go around on YouTube lately and I thought I would, you know, kind of join in on the bandwagon. Just a couple of disclaimers before I even get started on the tutorial is that first, my makeup items, they don't all add to 1K. So I am adding brushes in. I don't know, I don't buy really, really expensive makeup so I couldn't make it to the 1K mark. So I don't want you guys to think this is clickbait or am I cheating? I don't really know but I'm not going to mention the price of every brush, just the main brushes that I use. So I just want to throw that out there before we get started so no one says that I'm cheating or that this video is clickbait or whatever it is. Also, everything that I'm mentioning, the prices are in New Zealand dollars because that's what I purchased my makeup in so I'm going to calculate it in New Zealand dollars. And third, this video is not to brag or show off how much makeup I have. It's honestly just a normal tutorial. The only thing that's different is that I'm telling you guys the prices of each item and then I'm adding it up at the end. And I also want to like challenge you guys to calculate how much your makeup costs because it's pretty surprising how much you spend on makeup that we're going to take off at the end of the day. You know, also I am in a different filming space. I did move and this is the new room that I'll be filming in. So you guys will be seeing this background. I literally just painted these walls over the past weekend and it still smells like paint, but you know what? I wanted to film. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this tutorial and how I got this look using 1K worth of makeup products, then just continue watching. So to start off this tutorial, I am going to be using my Best Damn Lip Mask and this guy is 36. I like to apply this first because once I get to my lips, my lips will be ready and not dried out. For primer, I'm using the Bare Minerals of Lemish Remedy Mattifying Prep Gel and this guy is $39. For foundation, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Sand and this is $72. To buff the foundation in, I'm using the Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush and this is $25. And then for concealer, I'm using the Ofra Dermatones Concealer and this guy is $41. So I'm just going to pick these shades that match my skin tone and I'm also going to use this darker shade just to contour my nose a little bit. Blend all of that in. I'm using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and this is $12. I'm just going to pounce the product into my skin so we can get the most coverage. And then to set my under eyes and the rest of my face, I am using the RCMA No Color Powder and this is $17. So for my next item, I was thinking if I should just show this or not, but when I was planning this video, I didn't know that NARS um, has gone the opposite way and now they are not cruelty free because they are starting to sell in China, which is so sad because NARS is such a big brand and just for them to go backwards and not forward, I just, I don't know, I'm really sad and disappointed about this whole news. But there are two NARS products and the next one I'm going to show you is a NARS product. I already planned this video a while ago before I even knew. so I I am still going to include it in today's video but it will be my last time ever showing any NARS products in my videos until they go back to cruelty free. But I am using the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder, it is $58. I like to apply this on like my pores just to blur it out a little bit. It's such a little extra step, it's not really necessary. So now that the base is done, we can move on to the brows. So usually I do not show me applying my brows on camera just because it takes so long. But I thought I would show you guys today. So the first thing I do is I grab a brow pencil and the brow pencil I use is the Colourpop one. The shade is a Banging Brunette and this guy is $8. So first I like to draw a line under my brow and then I like to draw one on top. And then I'll go in with my Milani uh, pomade. This one is in dark brown, I believe, but this guy is $11. And then I will just fill in between the lines. Okay, 
Okay, and it does look a bit patchy, um, but then another product. I'm taking my Anastasia Eyebrow Powder Duo. This one is in dark brown. And this guy is $32, but I've had this for literally years and it's still going. And then I will go over it and fill in where the pomade didn't fill in. And then once that is all done, I will go in with my Anastasia Brow Tint. This guy is $31. And that is how I create my brow. Sometimes I will take concealer just to clean up the edges and make the tail more sharper. That is kind of the before and this is the after. Huge difference. Now that I look normal, going to move on to the eyes and to start off, I am going to prime my eyes and this is the second NARS product and the last NARS product ever that I'll be mentioning on my videos. But this is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eye Base and this guy is $41. To set my primer down, I am going to use this ColourPop shadow. This one is called Distress. It's from the Shiki palette. And a single shadow from ColourPop is $7. For the eyeshadow palette today that I'll be featuring and taking most shades from is my most expensive palette that I currently own. It is the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. I'm gonna be using the original one. This guy is $91, my most expensive eyeshadow palette. So first I'm going to take the shade Buck and I'm gonna take that on a EXO Beauty Tulip Crease Brush which is $17. And this look isn't anything new. It's probably gonna be something really, really simple. I just wanna showcase the products and the prices and how they all add up to a crazy amount of money. And these are honestly not my favorite palettes, but out of the three that I have, this one is definitely my favorite. And now taking a Sigma E40, this guy is $23. I'm gonna take the shade Naked and use that shade to buff out the edges. Now I'm taking my Makeup Collective number 18 brush. This guy is $16. So I'm going to be using the setting spray at the end of the video, but this guy is the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day setting spray in green tea, and this is $32. I'm going to spray my brush with it. I'm going to be taking the shade Smog, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And then I'm going to take Half Baked and I'm going to put that on the center of my lid just to pop everything up. And now I'm going to be taking Dark Horse and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to be taking my Inglot Gel Liner. This is $22. And then I'm taking my ALF Eyeliner Brush. This is $4. I use two brushes to do my wing liner. But this is the first brush. And then to actually create the wing, I'm using my Makeup Geek Eyeliner Brush. This guy is $12. Now I'm going to take my Sigma Cold Eyeliner and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. This guy is $18. And for mascara today, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara and this guy is $42. And now moving back onto my face, I am using the Too Faced Bronze and Poreless Bronzer. And this guy is $42. And I'm taking my Sigma F40 brush and this is $31. Next up, I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Kit and taking this shade here, it's called Fawn. This kit is $56 and I'm taking my NARS Eda brush. I forgot that this, I was using this brush. So I have three NARS products, but I'm using this brush to contour my nose and the NARS Eda brush is $80.
And then for blush, I am using the ColourPop Duo. I think this was from Sonia Esmond's collection. And this palette is $25. And for my brush, I am using the Makeup Collective number 25 brush. And this guy is $28. And to highlight, I'm using my most expensive highlighter ever that I own. It's the Becca Opal highlighter. This guy is $74, but I freaking love it. I use it all the time. For lips, I am using the Urban Decay Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Kinky. I absolutely love this shade. So before I put my lashes on, I'm going to spray my face with the setting spray. And for lashes today, I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Light Lash. And this is $16. And for my glue, I finally got a new glue. This is the, the Duo Brush On Adhesive. It's in the clear shade. And this is $15. is going to conclude my video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it and found it pretty interesting how much money we use on makeup. I challenge you guys to calculate your daily routine makeup and let me know in the comments how much your one adds up to. If you did enjoy watching, please give this video a thumbs up for me and also subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.